campaign gaffes were publicized long before YouTube. Take James Blaine, who's buried right up there. Blaine's narrow defeat to Grover Cleveland in the 1884 presidential election is often attributed to Blaine standing by silently as his supporter, Samuel Burchard, offended Catholics by referring to Democrats as the party of rum, Romanism, and rebellion. It is interesting to imagine how Blaine might have used YouTube. But then, Blaine had a voice. It is more interesting to imagine how they might have used YouTube. As Blaine and ordinary Americans are now steps away here, candidates and ordinary Americans were clicks away on YouTube in the 2008 election. Without any major gaps, what did the Senate campaign look like on YouTube in 2008? Was the campaign dominated by established participants repurposing their existing content? Or was YouTube an outlet for innovative campaign formats and new participants? This is the question of my research.